Welcome to CNU 101. I have special experts today from George Mason University. Welcome to you. Can you introduce yourself? Yes. Uh, my name is Brian Platt. I'm a professor of Japanese history at George Mason University. And my name is Michael Chang. I'm a professor of Chinese history in the Department of History and Art History at George Mason University. They are also authors of the books. Can, can you tell us the book you published? Uh, yes, the, the book I published uh, recently is called Burning and Building, uh, Schooling and State Formation in Japan from 1750 to 1890, published by Harvard University Press. And uh, my book is called uh, A Court on Horseback, uh, Imperial Touring and the Construction of Qing Rule from 1680 to 1785, also published by Harvard University Press. Our topic today is the relations between China and Japan. As the experts on China and Japan, can you willing to the contribute your study and help people to learn the facts? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> sure, of course. Okay. Singapore President Li Guangyao said China and Japan never be powerful at the same time in history. Do you agree on that? Well, it, it depends on what he meant by powerful. If he's talking about um, stability and economic prosperity, then he wouldn't be right because there have been various points in Japan's and China's history in which both have been stable, prosperous, wealthy uh, countries. Uh, if it's in terms of the ability to project and the inclination to project power abroad, then there's some truth to that in the last two centuries, uh, particularly with Japan's rise in the late uh, 19th century and China's relative weakness. But, uh, but it depends on what he means by, by powerful in that case. Yes, I would agree. Um, uh, as historians, you know, we, we focus on the long term. And in the 1700s, both uh, Tokugawa Japan and Qing China were quite prosperous. Um, and there was not necessarily a sort of tension or antagonism between them. But in the past uh, 150 years or so, I'd say, uh, that's probably the period I would assume that Mr. Li is referring to, uh, where there is fierce competition, not just between China and Japan, but between powers all around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for sharing. We really appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.